Hi, Project Utopia has a vision to build the net zero smart connected cities of the future that help solve the global housing crisis whilst reducing the impact on climate change. Utopia looked to do this through combining a core package of technologies from different industries to help us reach our goals. Energy, construction and intelligent technologies are combined to create this system that is hyper performing. Energy is how we use, generate and store renewable energy. Construction being what is the material that we're actually developing out of. And intelligent technologies is around connectivity and the consumer experience. With the intelligent and energy packages, we are proud to be partnering with the leader in smart home tech, Samsung. We are here today at our demonstration house at the Building Research Establishment Innovation Park near London. This for us is a living lab. We bring all of our technologies here and all of technologies that we want to work with to understand how they interact with our homes before we actually put them into the market. And it's also a great opportunity for us to innovate further. This home is one of the highest performing buildings in the world at present. And Etopia have tested a stabilisation of 21 degrees centigrade in the house over a period of time. And at a peak day in August, the home generated over 43 kilowatt hours of energy whilst only using four for heating and cooling. That's an energy positivity level of over 10 times. What is even more impressive? These homes can look however you want, from the affordable terraced house that we are in here today, to townhouses, and then your grand design mansion styles. So what makes these homes so special? It's all down to the technology used. The construction material is a hypersip panel that has twice the air tightness of Passive House Standard. We use the Samsung Climate Hub TDM Plus air source heat pump that's powered through renewable energy from the PV and solar slate on the roof, as well as using a battery storage system. We also use Utopia's in-house smart system that's integrated into the Samsung SmartThings app as well as the home being packed with smart home appliances from Samsung. Shall we take a look? Let's start with the energy and cost savings. One of the major benefits of working with Samsung is the connectivity and the integration of their air source heat pump. The air source heat pump is connected to Utopia's smart home system that is integrated into the SmartThings app. The smart home technology consists of five component parts, sensors, a hub, blind motors, wireless light switches, and light bulbs. The sensors can track everything in the room from temperature and humidity and feeds this information back to the hub. The hub then actions the air source heat pump to either cool or warm the room depending on the tenant's desired temperature. The hub may then lower the blind to prevent further solar gain, and if the sensor detects someone in the room, then the Kelvin in the lights will be changed to mimic daylight and ensure that wellness levels are maintained. If, for instance, I was to open a window, the sensor would then detect that information and send a message back to the air source heat pump to ensure that it doesn't overwork to maintain the room temperature. The combination of these actions helps to reduce the energy usage and overall costs of running a home. And using the SmartThings app, I can control all of this remotely, including the lighting. All great for energy management, you can monitor your energy use daily, weekly or monthly. Having a net zero home could save the average UK homeowner up to £33,625 over a 25 year mortgage life. That's about 14% of the average UK property value. So I've just gone and grabbed my Samsung tablet and I'm going to demonstrate how some of this works. So I've gone into the um, SmartThings app and some of the customer benefits is really is the convenience and the total environmental control that this app offers. Um, so perhaps I want to um, turn the water tank up and heat, heat some water. And while we're here, let's check the room temperature. It's a little bit warm, so I can turn the temperature down, but I can also make sure it's set a different temperature in different parts of the home. Or if it's a bit bright in here, I can close the blinds or turn off the lights. And I can also change the color of the lights and the brightness. Or activate on-demand streaming on our Samsung TV. 
I can also control all of my smart appliances via the app too, including getting alerts from my washing machine and dishwasher. That's about as much as I can show you and tell you about this home. I do have Mataza Bakari from Samsung and Joseph Daniel, CEO and founder of Project Utopia Group, who are here to tell you about what the future of the Samsung and Project Utopia partnership looks like. A partnership at Samsung, how does that resonate with the consumers? When we're building these cityscapes of the future, and it's all around net zero, net zero isn't just about the product, it's about the usability, the function. And so having a lifestyle system with connected living and connected IoT will not only allow us to introduce better technologies, more lifestyle orientated technologies that are beneficial from the yeah. smart appliances to the uh, you know, wireless light switches we have, but also it intuitively allows people to start understanding and educating themselves on consumer patterns of energy use. So actually, if we're going to reach these net zero goals of, of the world by 2050, it's the billions of people that are living in the small cities that really need to understand what net zero is yeah. and how they can have an impact. Yeah. And so having that consumer lifestyle focused point of contact for all of this crazy technology that's in the home allows the consumers and people to understand what they're doing, how they're using it, but also the cool smart lifestyle benefits of audio and remote control and, and wireless connectivity. Connected living and sustainability using smart climate solutions are a focus for Samsung and they also are a cornerstone of what Utopia are looking to achieve. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we're building the net zero building blocks and all of the technology therein. Um, but these building blocks become the smart connected cities of the future. So by bringing Samsung's technology to what seems like a very simple construction building method actually creates the blueprint for sustainable net zero smart communities of the future. And it's really aligned with the sustainable development goals of the United Nations because we're able to look at the building as a lifestyle point, but also as an energy generation point for cities, as a connected point for data. And so that will allow us to really understand on a wider global city level how we can create these truly smart eco-connected cities of the future. You're a construction company building houses. How does a partnership with a technology company help you? Samsung bring a level of technological know-how and research and development that is unseen in the construction industry. And by bringing Samsung into this mix and bringing them into what is being delivered as a home that consumers use every day is something that could revolutionize the industry. And with Samsung being such a powerful brand, having their technology uh, leading for a generation, Samsung, for me, were the only partner that could help us deliver a connected, efficient, but widespread message when it came to delivering net zero housing. So you're developing in multiple areas right now. Tell us a bit more about that. So we're working with local communities and local councils across Britain. Yeah. Uh, we've got developments of our own in Northamptonshire, upcoming in Kent and in Cambridgeshire. Yeah. But also we're now extending out across Europe and as well as looking further across the field in the Middle East and in the United States. But we believe that leading into 2021 and 2022, that this could even scope out to being on all of the six major continents. So having that global outreach of Samsung is allowing us to identify clients in regions that were previously, uh, you know, probably unattainable. Utopia's plans and growth is a great excitement to Samsung. How do you see this partnership moving forward? I see it being a collaboration. Uh, Samsung have been the, the leaders in technology. Uh, you know, any quality product in the world has taken some inspiration from Samsung. And so what we see ourselves and, and Samsung becoming is a mechanism for delivery of clean net zero technologies that can be provided to consumers 
to give them better lifestyles, better savings, and most importantly, save the planet by reducing climate impact, by focusing on things like energy monitoring, by focusing on energy reduction, and focusing on consumer interactivity and people's lifestyles for social values. Yeah, yeah. So Samsung is now the fifth biggest brand in the world, a huge organization running multiple businesses like air conditioning, white goods, televisions, mobile phones, 5G. So what we have found is having a singular point of contact running these partnerships is probably the best way we can serve our customers. Has that been your experience as well? I think it's been essential to the success of our relationship but also our business. Having that singular point of contact that can openly uh, extend out to other divisions in the business allows us to service what an original product we would require becoming a large ecosystem mm -hmm. because we're able to tap into different areas of the Samsung business yeah. through a common interface, through a common point, creating common goals, but actually ending up with a uh, better quality of delivery, service and product by looking across you know, the mass of the organization and bringing all of that brand power, bringing all of that legacy and history of being the best technology company of a generation, bringing it into a central point. That's really exciting to hear, really encouraging. Joe, thank you so much for your time and back to the studio.